but it's my proud privilege to bring to you the new website of the Urological Society of India. And this is a website which is at par with most international organizations and many international companies. So this website uses the same platform as uh, most big companies use and this is called a CMS system or a content management system. And we use WordPress to build this site so that we can allow members, we can allow the interactions. So let's talk about what's new in this site. For the residents, the new website has a lot of educational materials such as the ability to host e-courses, the ability to host quizzes, the ability to host uh, competitions and even gift certificates, awards and uh, accolades to its members. Uh, the resident they can apply for fellowships using the website itself under the fellowship center and they can go through a lot of online material like courses, the smart resident program and even videos. It's quite easy to search for the abstracts to the abstract center. For the younger consultants and the other consultants of course we have case-based discussion, webinars, regular updates in terms of news that you can see here posted every time a new event is held and apart from that we have a lot of uh, diversion into what we call the subspecialities. So as you can see the focus of the website as soon as you open is to choose your subspecialty so that you can know what's happening in each of the subspecialties and you can go into the individual pages where you can find about the subspecialty, you can access the guidelines, you can discuss your cases, you can see the latest news and even subscribe to the newsletter of that particular subspecialty so that you're informed about whatever is going on. Now let's talk about the website's individual features in general. So this new website, it has everything that the old website had. So it has all the information about the council, the constitution, the laws. Uh, you can still go to the old website of eSubmit where you can check your database, your members directory and everything. There's a page for the newsletters. There is a page where you can see how to be a member on all the fees. Everything is updated here. Of course, you can access through the old letters. And you can see about the other things, the events, the disclaimers, all the technical stuff about the website. To use the other features of the website, you have to try to log in. So you need to create your own account for that. So this is a new website. So we are updating the database. So we urge all the members who have not made their account up till now on the website to make their accounts. So you can just go to login and enter basically your credentials and you will be logged into the website. Once you have logged in, you will be able to access most of the pages on the website. So now when you go to the abstract center, you will be able to search for the abstracts. You just have to write the search query if you want to uh, learn about what has been done with regards to E. coli presentations on this. You can search and all the top presentations in the various UC cons will be available to you at the abstract center. Now this feature is under development. Once we have all the abstracts, we'll be able to search through all of them. You can go through the available fellowships and as an individual, you can apply as a candidate for the fellowship using a simple online form. We don't have to fill offline forms anymore. You just have to fill the form and send it over to the office. And even if you're an institute, you can apply as an institute where you can offer a fellowship. Again, it's a simple procedure and you can just send the form. Then you have all your guidelines there in one page. So every guideline which gets released will be available here in this page. The newer version will also get updated. And then we have an online course page where people can log in and they can attend courses of their choice. They can be paid courses, they can be free courses. Then we have a very important smart resident program where residents can log in 
and they can basically go through the lectures. There's a curriculum which we are following at ISU USI, as you're well aware, and these lectures will be posted on a regular basis on the Smart Resident Program. The Smart Resident Program is also bound to be giving a few other things like question and banks and papers, case-based discussions, radiology and allied specialty discussions, and of course the lectures part has already been started. So as soon as the uh, things are started, they will be available in this very page, the Smart Resident Program. Then we have Surgery Center where we will be bringing the best surgical videos which will be peer reviewed and there will be systematic step by step videos for others to follow because the other sources where you can find videos they are often biased and sometimes you can watch technique but it's not peer reviewed and this will be a page where you can get authentic surgical learning videos step by step. Then you have a page where you have the latest announcements so you can go through the latest news. We have events where we feature all the events and especially those events which are uh, which are important are separately there such as the UCCons. You can go through the various awards which are available and the winners of the awards of the every year. Then the most important part of the website is the specialties, the sections. So as we know that the USI is moving ahead in the path of specialities in the urological domain and for that we have pages for each and every section so this we've already discussed earlier in the video and then we have the U section and a very important aspect of this thing is the careers page where people can post jobs as comments so you can just post in a job if you have a requirement and if you're looking for a job also you can post it here so that other members can go through this and get in touch with you. So you have consent forms, application forms, these all can be downloaded from the website. We have patient education section so that more and more patients can get to know what the Urological Society of India is. So we would be posting articles, contents as blog, which the patients can make use of. And the most important aspect of this entire website is that as a member, you'll be able to interact with other members, you'll be able to find out information, you'll be able to create your own profile. So first and foremost, you have to register yourself before you can use the website to its full potential. You can update your profile, you can put in a photograph, a header, and you can look out for other members also. So you can just search for the name of the member and then you'll be able to fee be able to see their details and get in touch with them. So overall, uh, this is a brand new interface and of course there's a lot of potential. We are coming up with something like the Urological Society of India textbook, virtual textbook, which will again, everything will be searchable and editable just like Wikipedia. And uh, of course the latest news will be available on the website all the time. And because it's a website for the members, of course, the website will only be useful and full of information when members contribute to the website. So as the web editor of the website, I would like to request all members to please contribute to their subspecialities, write an article, send them over, everything that we can, uh, we think it's useful for the other members, we can contribute to the website by writing a mail to the, the central office. and. We would be launching more campaigns like posting your own photograph, photos of the month and a lot of good stuff uh, which will be available soon on the website. So this is a dynamic phase one of the website and we hope to make this website one of the best websites for urology across the globe. Uh, we would also request all members to subscribe to the newsletters so that they can get the regular updates. You just have to send in your name and your email and you will start getting the newsletter which will be a monthly newsletter separate from the standard newsletter that we get. It will just feature what is new happening around and uh, it will be curated for the members as per their specialities of interest. I hope that this website would, would grow further with the efforts of each one of us and I thank USI again for the opportunity that they have given me in making the website.